In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a dotted line and then after a specific segment with a solid line on the Y scale in Chart.js 4. So to do this, what we need is we need to get our boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. And once you're on here, just copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, got a question, put it on Discord. So what we're going to do here now is to create a grid and let's say we want from the value of 10 all the way to 16, have it solid. So to do this, we're going to scroll down here and first apply all the dotted line on the entire grid structure and on the border. So we're going to say here on the border, we're going to say here uh, dash, and then we can say here six pixels solid, and then six pixels white space. Let's save that, refresh, and as you do this, you can see here it's starting to become all dotted with the exception of the border here. Normally these two should both respond in such a way but that's all right because here we have this other border that we're going to hide and we have here this one here so what we're going to do here first is we say here display false save refresh and then if you look very carefully that's very interesting it doesn't really hide it nicely so let's see here what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this and just do here on the x scale as well and then we will notice that it will hide there we are. So that's, again, I'm not sure if it's a glitch. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's just a bit weird. So now both are hidden or it's being, uh, the scales are hidden, but there's still a grid line here. So what we're going to do now is start to draw from 10 all the way to 16 as a solid line. To do that, I'm going to use a plugin. I'm going to say here, comma, and then we say here, plugins. And then we're going to say here, solid border, y scale copy this create the plugin constant this equals the id of that and then of course here we're going to say before we draw the data sets we're going to draw this so say chart arcs and plugin options so once we did this we can start to draw everything within here the first thing we what i want to do here is an object destructuring so i'm going to say here this equals chart and i'm going to say a ctx and i'm going to say here the scales and specifically in this case the x and y scale although i think we don't need the y scale but who knows we might use this so then what i want to do now is say ctx dot save to save all variables above and then we're going to play around with drawing the line i'm going to say your ctx dot begin path and within the begin path here, we're going to select the starting point. That's basically number 10 on the Y scale all the way to the ending point, number 16 on the Y scale. So we're going to say ctx.move to, and then here we're going to put in the value. So the first one will be an X value, the other one is the Y value. And we, we're doing the begin path here to indicate that we're going to create a new line that's independent of anything else. So it's a new line all fresh so what i want to do here is uh, we have to make sure that we are on the y scale here and to get this data we can access this quite easily just say here console log and i'm going to say here y the reason for the y here is because of the object destructuring that we did here so it allows to create this object here and this is the scale data of the y axis and then you can see here i want to know what is the starting point here which would be, um, I'm not sure if it's the, the left or the end. I think it's the end here. And where is the start? Oh, that's, oh no, that's not it. This is the values of 0 to 18. I was expecting here this or probably the right side because the starting point is 0. Then this must be the ending point. That's the right side, which is 27 pixels. There we are. That's the first one I need. So I'm going to say here, this dot right the next one what i will be needing is basically the value i want to start with we could select tick you can see here with all these ticks we have the information although it just gives us the value so you could say from tick one all the way to tick five or something like that but in this case i will pinpoint the exact value so what i'm going to do here that will be 10 so what i'm going to say here is the following I'm going to grab this this will be the amount of pixels that we go to the left side or to the right side in this case that is this 
Then I'm going to say y dot get pixel for the value on the scale, and the value on the scale is 10 in this case. So once I did this, I need another one here that is the connecting line. So we're going to say ctx dot line two that will connect this one. This here is basically just a dot that will say the starting point. Now here we have a straight line and I want to go, the straight line should go all the way to 16. So we just can grab all of this. I just put it in here, basically here an X and a Y value as well. But now here, number 16, that is the connecting line. Once we did this, we need to give the command to draw ctx.stroke, save, refresh, and there we are. So we can control that, of course, but what I would do here is give it a color. So I'm going to ctx.stroke style, and the stroke style will be, for example, red, save, refresh. As you can see here, this is all nice, but what I would like to do now, of course, is create a special plugin, and that's why we have this ID here. So we have here the plugins, like if I do here, pay attention, this is the scales object, we say comma, and then we have plugins. Don't get mistaken by this one. This is just loading a plugin. This one here is accessing the plugin features. So in here, let's say we have the legend you could imagine, then we say here display, do something, or false or not. So what I want to do here now, instead of legend, I'm going to grab the ID name, which is the solid border Y. Once I did that, put it in here. Then I'm going to say here, let's say the Y color. And this color, we're going to make it blue. So what I want to do now is accessing the Y color. And if we have a Y color, apply that color. If we don't have a Y color, we're going to just say default red color. So how do we get to that specific area. The plugins knows that we're going to look for the solid border Y. So we're going to grab this, the dot, and then we're going to say here Y color, and the Y color is basically in the plugins, the solid border Y we're in, and then here the Y color. Save that, refresh, and now it is blue. So if I hide this, I say, all right, we don't have this, or the user didn't assign a value to it, it should be red. If I refresh, there you are. Now we get a red color. Beautiful. And that's it.